I thought I'd make a quick milling video. I'm working on a larger project that I'll have a video up soon on. And uh, we've been doing quite a bit of uh, work on the mill on it, and you'll see that. But um, I thought I'd just make a video for those guys that uh, might be interested in seeing this thing uh, in action. We got a um, one inch uh, little short stubby end mill in there. Uh, should be a pretty rigid setup. And we got to take about 90 thousandths off of the uh, surface here on this plasma cut piece and uh, so what I've got here is a uh, an indicator setup and we're just going to sweep this in and let's see if we can get you zoomed in here on this so we've got the indicator zeroed out so we'll just uh sweep across this and see uh, what we get and you'll notice the uh, dial moving around you know as it's moving across the ridges on the on the plasma cut uh, areas but you see overall it's kind of hanging real close to zero uh, it keeps coming back pretty close to zero so um, I think we're good on that I just had to loosen it and bump it a couple of times to get it uh, to get it there so um, yeah, so now we're going to set the uh, depth of this, and I'll just walk you through that real quick. Um, so we want to lower the, the knee here. Zoom you out. You can see what's going on. Or we can get it powered on and then touch off. Let's see. Put it in low gear and All right, it's just touched off there now, just took a little bit. So I'll bring you in a little closer so you can see what we're doing here. All right, so we got our indicator set. And, uh, zeroed out I'll bring you in closer so we're gonna bring our knee up 90 thousandths so we got it on zero there it looks like it's off a of zero but you're on it's tilted on an angle a little bit like that all right we'll back off and I'll move you around to the other side and we'll take a, a a cut on this thing. Should be able to take all that in one pass just going across there. Um, zoom you in close. Get the light on.
All right, well, we got that milled off of there, took a hundred thousandths off. It's uh, got a pretty good finish on it. And uh, this is gonna get welded, so um, now we got a nice flat, uh, no draft from the uh, you know plasma cut edge. Although it's not really that bad, um, this will be a lot nicer. And we got it to the dimension that we need it. So anyway, guys, I thought I'd just make you a quick video on uh, you know how this big mill can power through stuff. Uh, not really the most rigid setup with this being up so high, but um, it did pretty well. The power feed on this is uh, is not on here. There's no power feed, so I was just hand feeding that. I uh, don't know what the feed rate was. I was just kind of going by feel. I'm sure it could have taken a lot more. Um, and that's a one inch four flute carbide. I think it's a Gar brand that I bought off eBay. So, uh, all right, guys. See you.